Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. Today I'm gonna to have a bit of a chat about unusual, unique dresses. Now I love a good classic dress. They're the sort of thing that sit in your wardrobe and year after year you can bring them out, you can dress them up or down and layer them. But today I wanna to talk about dresses that are a tad on the unique side, whether that be maybe some interesting drafting, maybe a different kind of hem or an unusual sleeve or neckline, things that have caught my attention. Now, a lot of these I will have already made. I want to chat to you about the favorite ones that I have. And there's also some patterns that I'm collecting that I find anything kind of that sparks my interest. It's a little bit on the more modern and unique side. Now, the beauty of creating your own wardrobe means that you get to be in charge of what you want to basically wear. Now, I'm actually heading into the more modern, um, more casual, I would say, easy wear, natural fibres I love. Um, it doesn't mean to say that I don't make the occasional thing out of a good polyester, which I, I still love that. But I find that I am heading towards things that are easy to wear, things that look comfortable, but also look really stylish. So something with a bit of a modern edge is something that really captures me. Uh, and the same thing goes with a fabric. I still love a great floral print, but I also find myself intrigued with different kind of geometric prints as well as some good solids. So I'm going to have a chat about things that I've made that I've loved wearing, especially loved wearing. That's the most important bit because you can make lots and lots of dresses and for all different occasions and you'll find that maybe um, you know when the season comes around you might not pull them out to wear for everyday wear they may be more of a you know, special occasion or going out dress so I love a good practical dress that I can wear just as easily with a pair of slip-on sandals all that I could dress up with a little jacket for a night out. So that's the thing I love. So I want to chat to you about some patterns that I have loved making, loved wearing, and patterns that I'm yet to make that have really interested me. Now, I know a lot of people like myself get to the age of almost 50 this year, and I find myself uh, not wanting to wear things that are uncomfortable. And years ago, I may have worn things that were really stylish, but not the most comfortable to wear. And that goes for shoes as well. And now I'm finding unless I can have something comfortable and stylish, I won't even look at it. I don't want to wear it. I, If I feel comfortable, I feel that I look better. I look and feel more confident. So if you're not feeling comfortable in what you're wearing, maybe you need to look at what your wardrobe needs to suit your own personality. Now, the first dress that I found was quite a unique style. It's actually a simplicity pattern. It's the S8640. And I remember doing a collab with Jen over in Jen's sewing room in the US and she suggested this was a great pattern and I thought it looked rather interesting so I decided to make two actually. This is my um, 8640. Now I love this pattern. I made it in a double gauze in a beautiful green double gauze from Fabric Deluxe uh, here in Melbourne and I made the also the sleeveless version. Now Jen had said, said how much she loved to wear hers and just how comfortable it was and that she felt fantastic in it. And I've got to agree, when you wear this pattern, it's a really, really simple pattern to make. It, it has that slight kind of boho look with a handkerchief style hem. Anything with the asymmetric hem, I just straight away I'm attracted to. I just love that style hem. I just feel it really elevates a dress. Um, takes it to that more unique level. Um, I love it in the double gauze. It's probably not the first um, thing I would think of for this pattern, but for some reason at the time, I decided the double gauze was the way to go and actually is lovely to wear. But this dress, if you really want to make it sing, I would suggest something like a rayon, maybe a linen uh, rayon blend or linen tensile blend. And as we develop our sewing skills, we realize that things that we may have made uh, fabrics with in the past certain patterns they're not really what we'd make now I think the more you sew the more you know what fabrics are going to work with a pattern or not and to me this style needs a more simple fabric I've used the double gauze you can see the texture in it and even though it looks lovely I really like wearing it I think it would look much nicer in a more simple uh, woven fabric but definitely it is a gorgeous style on. It's really lovely and comfortable. It's swishy and you can make two different lengths in it as well. And you can also add on like a patch style pocket. So it's a great little simplicity pattern, a lot of ease. Um, I made a large in that one and yeah, it's got plenty of room there, but 
it just drapes and uh, wears it really beautifully and the sleeve also is great to add on if you like a bit of a sleeve and a lot of people do like sleeve coverage so you've got the option of sleeveless as well that's a great little pattern and if you are keen on those kind of patterns with that kind of edgy asymmetric hem i love the look of the trend patterns um, t-shirt bias cut dress and it's one that i've had on my radar for quite some time and i know a lot of the trend patterns are a little bit more on the pricey side now i know charlene from so so dress making has made this and it looks stunning on her and it's one of her really favorite patterns that she's made a couple of and I, every time I've seen it on her I just thought wow that's a knockout pattern it's really beautiful the way it is um, drafted the way it drapes and sits on the body so that's definitely on my radar to make one day we've got so many unusual patterns really uh, designer and look there's an asymmetric uh, hem dress on there as well there's quite a few patterns there's also the 70s dress pattern which looks very unique and lovely too now I love a good indie pattern. They are my favorite patterns to sew with, but I also love a great big four pattern and especially I love a Vogue pattern. And this is another kind of style dress with that asymmetric hem. It's the V1691 and I love what they've done with the stripe. They've done the stripe going one way and then they've done the other way on the, on the sides. And I'll show you the mind drawings for that one. It's a really unique style. I think this looks like it'd be a gorgeous dress on. Now it's a designer, uh, Tom and Linda Platt from that have done the Vogue series. And it looks like a really simple, but very elegant dress. And you can see what I mean about how you can just as easily dress that up with a pair of heels, or you could wear a pair of um, sandals or flats for summer. Um, you could easily put a belt on that as well if you wanted to dress it up with a little jacket. So they're the kind of things that I just love wearing. I think that's going to be a really nice one to make as well. Just need to find the right fabric for that. Another one similar is the Simplicity 9099. Now that has again got that bias look to it. I love the fact that they're giving you options for the fluted style sleeve as well as a normal t-shirt sleeve. The other unique thing with this is that it has a raglan style sleeve. Now a lot of dresses, it's very hard to find a good raglan style sleeve. They're not as common as you think in a dress. You'll find lots of tops and lots of um, jumpers. I find them a really flattering style to wear, but I love, I love all the versions, but especially version C. Now I'll let you see that up close just so you can see the uh, line drawings of that because that really um, tells a story there and that I think that would even look gorgeous in uh, mix and match type of patterns and prints. I just think you can get really creative with something that has different pieces uh, matched together um, and yeah, especially with that angular kind of seam it's a really flattering style so that one itself is a lovely pattern that I'm yet to make that I'm wanting to make very shortly and talking about raglan sleeves another favorite pattern that I made I've made two of them so far and I know a lot of people have made a heap of these dresses it's a style like hope woven dress this again has got the raglan sleeve and it just sits so beautifully especially around the neckline it's a really really simple make i know my mum made a couple of these as well i've made this um, in a silk cotton voil blend and this is a gorgeous lady mcelroy lawn it gives a more crisp look to it and it really lets the sleeve that billowy sleeve stand out but it's such a simple dress to make and i would imagine it would be a really simple top to make as well if you lengthened that you could leave the um gathered skirt maybe do a peplum style or just even lengthen the bodice because that is just such a great fit on me it's a size 14 i made and i've worn it so much it's one of those dresses that i've seen people make up to like 10 of these once they love a pattern you can see that you can see why it's a popular pattern uh, on their uh, style like website but that's what i'm saying the raglan sleeve is such a flattering thing to wear on a dress another very easy vogue pattern i have had my eye on for quite some time now and it's also in a top format as well it's the vogue 9363 very easy vogue style that you can see is a gorgeous top as well uh, it has that wonderful sort of wrap around kind of kimono grown on sleeve the wrap around belt gives you nice waist definition and I think that would look really stunning in a dress. I think uh, saying things like crepe, linen blends, round shelly, um, or just normal cotton blend. I think the more drape you have, the more the fluid um, look to it will have. If you're wanting more of a structured style, think about things like linens and cottons. But that to me is a lovely looking pattern. And I just love that drape 
on the hemline and she's got it on there with a little pair of trainers i just think you can see how you can dress that down for a more everyday look as well so that's a great little pattern i want to sew up too another great indie pattern designer is forget me not patterns and joe over at uh, new zealand forget me not patterns has done so much work making her patterns more unique um, she's given them interesting style lines she uses a lot of pleating in different positions just to give things shape and really enhance the features uh, the one I'm talking about that I made more recently is the Adeline wrap dress and you may remember I made that for Christmas time and I've just made it in a cotton fabric but I would love to see it done in a more drapey rayon as well as maybe a linen and I know that Jo had made herself a black uh, wool I think it was a wool twill fabric for a winter version with a short collar and the longer sleeve and it's just such a lovely dress and jacket so you can do either version the thing that looks so unique is that beautiful pleating at the back because that sort of shaping and also the way the pleating meets up at the waist it's very hard to see on this with the wrap here but the, the pleating is diagonal one way and then diagonal the other and it really brings in that that look once you tie it around it just works so beautifully she's done a wonderful job and the sleeve pleating as well that and that's her thing uh, Jo. she really does a wonderful job with showing off things giving them shape and making them more unique the other dress is the april dress she has which has a wonderful wavy sort of seam that joins the bodice to the skirt and you can do that in a shift style dress or a gathered style skirt and they just look completely different the gathered skirt gives it a kind of a more whimsical look and the structured a-line gives it with that color blocking gives it a more modern feel but both of those dresses could be quite as easily toned down to be more casual or dressed up as well Another dress very similar to that, it's a bit more unique as well, is the Homer and Howells dress called the Ingrid dress. Now this has a really unusual feature at the waist where the bodice joins the skirt. It goes in like a like a line with a step up so it gives that kind of unique look to the front of the dress and then it has a really unusual pleating in the middle with the busties and it just really works i just thought it's a very creative inventive looking pattern that has worked looks lovely on a lot of people uh, it's a nice boxy looking dress but would be beautiful in something like a linen as well now a pattern company that i love you will notice i'm wearing my wonderful pattern fantastic celestial dress this is the dress of all dresses for summer has been my one dress I have just worn to death because I've made three versions of it three three versions of this is the sleeve uh, hack you'll get free hacks with the dress when you do purchase the normal pattern you'll get two options for hacks one is the billowy sleeve which just works so well in a nice drapey fabric i've got a little tie on with it as well a really unique yoke you'll find that when you sew it it's just quite unique the way it's been um, designed the other version i made was the apron style um, sleeveless in a linen version now that is really unusual i haven't seen too many of that style around and it's also beautiful in a pinafore style that you could layer for winter as well so i can highly recommend that a lot of people have asked me what kind of bra i'm wearing with it and i am wearing a strap bra with that one but i do also have a racer back style or convertible style bra that works really well and it hides those straps because it does come in quite deep uh, under the armpit you make gotta make sure there's no sort of bra uh, poking out and showing so i also love her valley dress that is a favorite top of mine and i've got some fabric to make a dress in that i want a beautiful fluid boho dress of the of my dreams uh, and it's more, I would say it's not as modern. Maybe the, the sleeves gives it that more modern take. Uh, I'm looking at a lot more modern styling today, but it, it has got a boho edge, but also it's got that kind of um, 70s feel. But to me, there's something about the yoke, the way it's been drafted. It's just an amazing looking dress on and it's something you can definitely dress up or down. So I can highly recommend the Varley. As well as that, I've seen the Mercy dress on Pattern Fantastic is just stunning with that beautiful big balloon sleeve. The very deep structured v-neck and having that straight skirt is quite unusual as well and i think it would work beautifully in a linen or maybe a more of a uh, cotton sateen something a bit more structure and oomph to it uh, i think if you put something too drapey with that it won't give that kind of modern structured look so you've got to think about what the designer has intended the pattern to look like and maybe look at the suggestions because they really do suggest fabrics for a reason when they've designed the pattern and had that mental image in mind uh, but sometimes you can play with things once you've made them once or twice and kind of see uh, what look you want to give it and if you want to um, change it up a little bit you can do that 
but that's definitely one I want to make. And I think I might have some fabric that is, uh, I've just realized might work really well with that dress pattern. But I love the way her patterns look. They look very designer end, high end looking. There's just something unique and different about them. And I do know that Pattern Fantastic do also sell ready made garments of the patterns on the website. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing any of those dresses made up, you can also do that. Another great pattern designer over in the UK is Dorada Davies. Now she has done a couple of really interesting dresses, one of which I've already made, and that is the Jasmine dress. Now you may say that looks very um, kind of boho looking uh, with a bit of a teed skirt, but the thing I like about it is it's done with some interesting style lines as far as the panel in the middle, the waist ties where they're joined is a bit more unique and you can actually have the sleeve, either the full sleeve which is like a bishop sleeve with some really interesting pleating or you can do a shorter more um, kind of wider sleeve you can also make that in a blouse as well and you can also add the ruffle on the bottom of that so you can do quite a lot with that pattern and it just gives you that most beautiful shape um, i really love looking at line drawings to see exactly where um, they've intended the shape to be so that's a fantastic dress as well as her maxine dress and you can do things like color blocking with that it's a knit dress pattern but it just looks more structured. So it's um, kind of a shift dress looking style. You can really do things like color blocking. The Very Easy Vogue 9363 I showed you earlier with that handkerchief style hem. There's also the style So Me Anna dress and that has a similar looking vibe to it. If you prefer an indie pattern over a big four, that is a very similar style dress. Uh, and I also know that um, style So Me patterns are great. I've made them before, made a lovely jacket, the Nikki blazer from her from last year. I really enjoyed making that pattern too a lot of interesting looking really unique style dresses i think they are drafted for more of a taller person so i think they're drafted is it five foot eight maybe just correct me if i'm wrong but if you're more on the taller side and you're looking for patterns drafted for that height you may find them a really great pattern company to work with now another pattern that I am dying to make is the named Barlow. I have it printed out and I also have some fabric that I'm going to show you on the next episode. The named Barlow is very unique because of that yoke, that sweetheart style yoke and you can do things like color blocking, maybe putting a different print up top to the bottom and I do know that the lovely Gabrielle from Cloth Edit has made a stunning uh, Valo dress where she's used her fabric from her store and she's done a beautiful black and white polka dot top and a print uh, bottom and she's actually left the elastic out of the middle because she preferred just to have it nice and loose and maybe with a waist tie so that's something I'm thinking about doing because I find if you don't get that, that elastic waist in the exact spot for yourself you can find them riding up so they can be a little bit more difficult to work with when they are the elastic is not in the right spot for your waist so they can be tricky but i think it's great that she's left it off and actually still found that the dress, the dress looks beautiful on her so that's one i'm thinking about making very shortly now jen suggested i make the simplicity pattern and i suggested she make the tazuti eva dress and i've made that a couple of years ago now in a just a linen cotton print from spotlight and absolutely love this dress. It's like a lantern style skirt. You'll, I'll put some line drawings up so you can see. And it is pieced together. And I remember when I made it, I actually uh, did it the wrong way around. I didn't put piece the lantern style skirt. I had one piece upside down. So make sure you look at your notches and where the up and the down is because it goes against um, what you think about a hemline to sort of usually grades out, but it's actually gr grades in. So it is quite... A unique style but it really really works when you see it on i've opted for the sleeve and jen opted for sleeveless and i think i made mine in a large and i found the bust to be not as roomy as what i would have liked i think next time i made it i would definitely go for it extra large you don't need to worry about the skirt it's really quite generous in the skirt where the hip and um, leg area is but in your bust area it's quite neat so make sure you definitely look at uh, your bust size and go by that because you can see the skirt you won't have to worry about that but that's this pattern I absolutely love and I want to make a sleeveless version in a plain black I think it would work beautifully or in a plain navy for layering for autumn winter and Tazuti to me is the epitome of modern and stylish casual wear 
all of their patterns that I've made, I've loved. There's not one Tazuti pattern I would think that I've made that I haven't enjoyed wearing and wanted to make more. And I know they do have a really big following for that kind of modern classic chic look and being very uh, in front of the way like designer end clothing would look. So if you go um, shopping and you go to those stores where you'll find the like, sort of more eco-friendly fabrics, that is usually what I find inspires me to make. And I usually always find that uh, Tazuti designs is what I want to wear because they're comfortable and classic. And another one of their dresses that I've never made, but I actually have the pattern and I want to make it. And it's called the Pia dress because I love that kind of interesting looking shoulder. It's a very simple dress, but the pockets on the front, it's just very unique. And I haven't seen anything quite like that before. So it's one that I definitely want to try and make in the future. Another very designer and looking uh, pattern company that has that wonderful Scandi look and that's the assembly line patterns. Now I think their patterns are wonderful. You'll find that on their website they use a lot of blacks and dark colours and I, and I think that is to bring out the classic simple style lines that they've put into the into the garment. Things like um, the box pleat dress. It's just a gorgeous easy wearing style dress and I think it would be really wonderful to have as a layering piece in the wardrobe. And there's also the cap sleeve dress I think would also be wonderful to have for layering for all times of the year. Um, so I really love the way the thought they put into making them a very modern and edgy pattern company but love those two dresses. My daughter also has the cuff sleeve dress and she's made the cuff top I think about four versions herself and she wears them to work. They're a great looking little um, almost professional style top but very casual as well to wear with a pair of jeans and the cuff dress again is a lovely dress to wear dressed up or down. Now a really popular pattern company for modern looking dresses would be Style Art Patterns and I love the look of the Maeve. I've talked about the Maeve dress before with that waterfall style looped around front with the button. That's one that I have definitely uh, got on my list. Another dress that I made last year from Style Art was the Melba dress. Now that turned out really lovely. I made it in a gorgeous Ponte fabric um, in a fuchsia or magenta colour. And I love the style of that. Also, it looks very simple from the front, but when you see the back detail, it has the um, the yoke kind of sliced in the middle and across the top there. And also those kind of pleats, there's two kind of box pleats, and it just gives the most wonderful shape to the dress. Uh, I think next time I would definitely leave the pockets out, but although the pockets look nice and um, well made, I just find pockets can give a bit of bulk where I don't need them so I would definitely think about leaving that out again next time and another thing I would definitely think about doing is that it has got a double layered uh, yoke in the pattern instructions but I decided to make my own facing out of that yoke because wearing ponty can be quite thick and if you're going to do a double layer it can also use up a lot more fabric than what you need to but it can be quite warm to wear but if you're in a, in a cooler climate and that doesn't worry you I think you really enjoy that look of the double layered yoke. It's also really beautiful in linen as well and it's definitely one I want to make uh, in, in a linen fabric just to see that kind of summer take on a dress that I essentially made in in winter time last year but a great dress for wearing for layering and just a simple thing like adding those pleats in the back have given that dress a really unique uh, look to it and getting on to another starlight pattern that I absolutely love and that's the Sydney designer dress and it's one of those patterns that um, when you see it can look quite intimidating because of all the different seam lines and the line drawing you think that looks really interesting I'm not sure how it will work for me but when you see it on it's just something really unusual and special about the dress and you can see why it has great reviews I know a lot of starlight patterns people have written reviews for so you can always go back and read all of those and see what people have done maybe they've changed a few things around but that's got a lovely little cuff now I made that out of a lovely polyester from Draper's Fabrics it's called Diva it has like perfume bottle geometric print all over it but you can see there at the front it has um, kind of um, lines down the front like seams that way has the yoke across the top the facings seam across the back and also those seams down each side of the back and it also gives you that kind of tulip style shape because these more dart um, style lines at the bottom and also the hem line has got like its own little facing so it kind of brings it in it's a really unusual shape but one that you definitely need to see on I'll put some pics so you can be reminded of that one just really works and they are the th sort of things I always think I love seeing them in the print because I'm all about prints but I also think that a plain bold fabric can really showcase those kind of style lines that the designer has intended on showing so I like also have the alley knit designer dress which I definitely have on my radar to make 
bag. I've got a really nice scuba crepe in the bright cobalt blue that I'm intending to make that in if I ever get the time. But that beautiful, um, that asymmetric hemline, having a knit fabric that's a bit more stable, I think works really well for that dress. And I'm just dying to make that up. Although I've got lots of prints, I think it needs to be in a simple, bold color to really showcase that, just that appeal of that dress. There's also one that I, I've just recently come to the attention that it's an amazing looking dress. It's called the Gertrude Designer Dress on Starlike, and it looks fantastic. Now, although in the line drawings, it doesn't do much for me on the um, picture of the model modeling it, it also looks lovely, but she's very, very slim as well. And I just thought maybe it's not for me. And then I scrolled through the comments and saw that um, someone had made and put pics up of herself in a, in a beautiful structured linen fabric. And straight away, I thought that is something I would definitely make. It's got some really interesting seam lines and drafting. It's a unique style dress, but with some lovely waist shaping, kind of pleating around the middle, um, but con kind of got that modern looking edgy feel to it. So that to me is a perfect style dress for heading into maybe autumn and winter. So hopefully, I've given you something to think about. Maybe you're thinking about branching out and challenging yourself in something different. Maybe you're always sticking to the same um, boho or teed skirts, which is what I love. My wardrobe is full of it, but I also like to make different things that are maybe testing the boundaries and you can see what you enjoy wearing, um, but something that's also a little bit more modern and a bit more unique. So something to think about, but I really hope you've enjoyed that today. And if you have, I would really appreciate a thumbs up because that helps other people like you find the channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching every week and you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate that. And not to forget to hit that notification bell. You'll see when any new episodes are coming out. So take care and happy sewing. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.